Welcome to Axiomatic course. This video is the part of the solution series for CSIR Net December 2019. So this is question number 21 and it is from the topic analysis. So let us have a look on this question. It says let Xn be a sequence of non-negative real number then which of the following are true. So these are your options in which you have to check uh, the correct options, right? So this question basically deals with limit inferior and limit superior of a sequence Xn which is non-negative, right? Now since uh, limit inferior and limit superior are quite fundamental topics or you can say very basic topic in the uh, in the subject analysis so that means I'm not going to introduce them and not going to define them so, but what I will introduce I will introduce a theorem for you that will help in solving this question okay so what is that theorem let us see so the, what this theorem actually suggests that let Sn be a sequence let Sn be a bounded sequence and S be the set of limit point of this sequence right then what it say it says that the maximum of this set will be the limit superior and the minimum of this set will be the limit inferior okay so if you have a bounded sequence then you can easily determine then you can easily actually determine what is limit superior and what is limit inferior and by using this theorem what I am going to do I am going to generate a counter example right so let us see for your option 1 let us see it says that limit inferior of xn is 0 then this will imply that limit xn square is 0 right so what I am going to take I will take your sequence like this okay uh, I am writing this sequence as a set okay so let us see 0 1 0 1 0 1 okay so if I am taking your sequence like this now you see this is a bounded sequence that means using that theorem what you can do you can actually uh, uh, you can actually figure out what is limit superior and what is limit inferior now what are the limit point for this sequence limit points are 0 and 1 and in that theorem s actually represent the set of limit points right now what is the maximum of this set the maximum is 1 that means limit superior okay limit superior of this set is actually 1 and what will be the limit inferior limit inferior will be uh, 0 right so these are the two things that we can evaluate right now now it says if limit inferior of xn is 0 now you are getting that your limit inferior is 0 now it says limit uh, limit of xn square is 0 right now let us find out what is xn square xn square actually means that you need to square every term of the sequence if you square this sequence it will be it will remain same now you see limit supremum still will be 1 for xn square and limit inferior uh, limit inferior for xn square will, will be 0 right now since you are getting two limit point right since you are getting two limit point that means sequence will not converge and if sequence is not converging that means xn square sequence is not converging now since it is not converging that means this limit will not exist so this cannot be zero that means your first option is actually incorrect now i will not come to the question uh, option number two i will directly go to the option number three option number three says that if limit inferior of xn is zero that means xn is bounded so is it really true let us figure out so for option 2 I am writing here so I am taking your sequence to be like this 0 1 0 2 0 3 like this okay now by the definition you can directly figure out that the limit inferior of for this sequence will be 0 okay I'm not going to do that if you do if you are not getting it right now what you can do you can just see the definition of limit inferior and then figure out that what will be the limit inferior right now since limit inferior of xn is 0 but xn uh, is not a bounded sequence you're getting 
it's, it is not bounded it is going to infinity right zero is a limit point but it still it is going to infinity so that means your third option will be incorrect okay sorry this one is for the third now let us see what your fourth option is suggesting now your fourth option says that limit inferior of xn square is greater than 4 this will imply that limit superior of xn is greater than 4 okay so this is true or not let us figure out i will take this sequence xn is equal to a constant sequence 3 3 3 i will say right now what will be xn square xn square actually means you have to square every term that means what you will get 9 9 9 now since this is a constant sequence right this is a constant sequence so it has to converge now since it is converging so it, it is it has only one limit point so you can say that limit inferior of xn square is actually 9 so that means this sequence what i am taking actually satisfies your criteria so you are getting my point now you need to check whether lim sup of xn is greater than 4 or not so this is your xn now since it's a constant sequence so lim sup of xn will be 3 but what your uh, what your option say it says lim sup of xn should be greater than 4 but it is not so fourth option has to be incorrect right now i need to prove second one i have discarded first third and fourth that means second will be automatically true this is for the exam purpose that you can directly say that second is true now for the knowledge purpose what i will do i will prove this thing to prove this thing we need a theorem okay so firstly i am going to introduce that th theorem for you and then i will prove this okay so what it says it says that if sn is a bounded sequence then sn is convergent if and only if lim sup of xn is equal to lim inf of xn is equal to limit of xn okay this is what your theorem says okay now this is the proof for option number two now what is given to you that lim uh, lim a okay sorry lim sup of xn is zero this is what is given to you now since lim sup of xn is zero okay lim sup of xn is zero then you can easily evaluate that xn has to be bounded okay this is this is trivial from the uh, definition of the uh, limit superior right now since xn is bounded that means you can apply this theorem right so by using this theorem what you can say that xn is convergent if and only if lim sup of xn is equal to lim inf of xn is equal to limit let us say limit to be l what is l l is the limit of the sequence where sequence is converging right so this is what is uh, what your theorem says right now since lim sup of xn is zero that means your uh, condition for the theorem is satisfied hypothesis is already satisfied that means you can uh, conclude this thing now what you have to do in this thing that lim, uh, limit of xn square is zero right you need to prove this thing uh, now see lim sup of xn is zero what is the basic thing that you know that lim sup is always greater than or equal to lim inf this is what you already know right now since it is given to you that this is zero now since this is zero that means lim inf has to be zero right why because it's a no sequence of non-negative real number now since it is zero and it is less than this and it is non-negative that means it has to be zero now lim sup is equal to lim inf is equal to zero that means from the converse part of this theorem you can say that xn is convergent now since xn is convergent and then that means it should have a unique limit point and you are getting one limit point you are already uh, question is already saying that you have a limit point zero that means lim limit of xn is zero now since limit of xn is zero then it is obvious that limit of xn square is zero right 
so this is a very easy question uh, i will say to discard first third and fourth it is very easy to discard them but to prove them you you need some theorems and some tricks okay so what i can say that while solving question always try to prove which option is correct you you need to prove that also for your knowledge otherwise you will uh, you will get stuck in some option which is incorrect right so your second option is true so thank you